Dinner is being prepared, and this gathering is not made up of older people cooking meals for themselves, or parents making meals for their older children, but young people cooking their own meals. They are taking their own nourishment into their hands. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm adding the stock that I've made from the lime leaves and the lemongrass into the soup, um, which is actually not truly vegetarian because it has some fish in it. Um, but that's, it's hard to not have a little bit of fish. This, this is a coconut and a fish soup with lemongrass and lime leaves. That was Emily Moody explaining a vegetarian meal. Her family often finds her a bit peculiar for her eating habits, but not all her family sees her that way. And my stepfather does this thing with, um, he makes a vegetarian turkey which is he uses all kinds of like rice and lentils and then he has a, a mold and he puts it in there so that when you take the mold off it's the same shape as a turkey uh, yeah, so one of these days I'm going to try that how does it taste it tastes great it's it has all kinds of different flavors it's nutty and um, it's not turkey but it you know it tastes it tastes like a vegetarian um, like a doll or something like that Marissa Zwan became a vegetarian while traveling through Europe, and at first it was an ethical choice from observing animals. She could not consciously make the decision to eat the animal she found so beautiful. From being a vegetarian, she has maintained a healthy diet, including lots of protein, and she also reads books critical of the meat industry. So now it has become, for her, a health issue, political issue, and an ethical issue. It's easy in my own life to not eat meat because I'm cooking for myself and I'm living away from my family and I'm the one that's most of the time choosing the foods I eat. People who will serve me food and that's a time when I have to question when it comes to all these like plates of meat in front of me and people are questioning why I'm a vegetarian and whether it's healthy for me and oh come on eat some meat, be a, be a big girl. Um, that's when I question well will th what will this little bit do? And I start questioning all my beliefs and I don't necessarily break because I haven't and I'm very, I'm very proud to say that I haven't. But I'll sit and I'll wonder, well, this little bite, if it'll just like maybe make my grandmother happy or make my aunt happy, perhaps I'll have it. Marissa has been a vegetarian for more than a year, and as the strain of defending her position diminishes, it is getting easier for her to proudly say she is a vegetarian. Meanwhile, at Emily Moody's house, her dinner guests gather for the first course of soup. It's delicious. Well, you're not what, what, it has a refreshing, what is creamy mean? quality, uh, it's a mixture Very? of the lemongrass and the milk. It's almost Maybe. like a chowder, really. Very nice, actually. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Mm -hmm.